guys. Hi, it's Mikey and we're playing a different custom story this time and it's probably going to be more scary than the last so I hope you enjoy. Father and I used to sit out here when mother was tending to the guests. I was only two so all the things that we were going on are fading memory but I remember him saying one day, Derek, one day you one, you will want to find out everything. You are already adventurous, but no, some things should just remain in the dark. Because I was only two, my response was a mix of gargling mumbles that nobody understood. My father looked down at me and finished with, Good boy, I know you understand. Derek's Journal, April the 7th, 1847. Let's do it as should. Um, oh wait, just, yeah, just. That tea break. Ah, cheers. <coughs> ah. <coughs> Sorry, I was just having a drink. Can you do anything with it though? What the fuck are you supposed to do? What? Right. Oh yeah, you can read it. Sixteen years have passed. I've never formally met my father. The only time I knew him was when I was two. My father has not been seen for sixteen years. Mother started drinking pretty heavily five years ago. She also tells me that her father wrote letters home. He is considered the scientist among some. He was called into the line of duty to make chemical weapons for the war. Nobody has ever made a weapon without something going wrong. Let's just hope I see him in human form when he returns from the war. That, looks, that sounded quite weird, didn't it? Right, so what the fuck am I supposed to do? Alright, see if there's any oil or anything. Oh, there is. Oh, there's another door. Oh, I think I've got to look for it. Oh, that wasn't so hard. Oh, you bastard. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Alright, what's this? The following trophy is awarded to Ellis Jackson for the pursuit of inventing Lord A cash reward of 100,000 shillings will be rewarded to Ellis E. Jackson, his wife Libby R. Jackson, along with their son Derek S. Jackson, upon completion of the serum. How lovely. Are you brushing your teeth? What? Was that me? That sound, it sounded like it came from the attic.
Oh. Should I like investigate them first? Right, oil. Oh. The attic. I have. What the so many doors? <laughs> so little time. Footsteps. Oh no. Kyle? Can you hear that? It's a piano. You know how much I hate pianos. <laughs> it's come to my attention that a great leap forward in the technologies of medicine must be made. I have gathered information on herbs, blood, and everything else that could ever be possible to heal a human being. Let it be known that I, Ellis Jackson, will not rest until this potion is made. So far, I have a working title of London, but that will most likely change when this project is finally done. I will continue to document my findings and eventually come up with the great invention of the 1800s. I will go down in history. Blood lovely. Hmm. What picture? Uh, I think it's a map. Yeah, it's a map. See, it's got like north, east, south, and west, blah, blah, blah. I can't, I need the key. Oh. So I wish I didn't see that, but, you know. hours I can't feel anything in my body Alice called me in to amputate my arm as it has immediately become infected and has lost all blood we are going to replace it for metal pros pros <laughs> just fuck it until we can get a real one in God save me at least my sacrifice was for science eh uh. Uh, is there anything I can smash the door in with? Ah, oh, I can't be bothered. Um. Oh, there's another note. Phew, all went well. The gash looks really nasty though. We have a towel wrapped around it, so the bleeding should stop and it should snap quicker because of the Lord I'm in. I'm not going to lie, however, it gives a powerful headache, nauseous feeling. I don't like it. I'm not, I'm, I don't feel like I'm really me anymore. All of these mostly side effects. I will be better in an hour, Andy says. But what if Andy is wrong? Oh, lovely. Alright, awesome. 
smash. Where's the wardrobe? Hmm, right, okay. Today is a big day. Ellie is letting me test the first version of the potion. He said it was totally stable and would not harm me. I am very excited to see if it works, but scared. Because the only way to tell if it works is that I must be injured. So we must take the knife and then cut a small gash in my arm, about two inches long, one over four inches deep. I know it will hurt and I am really worried, but I have a lot of trust in Alice and he has been working on this for about six months, day and night, and I bet it will work. Okay, it's nine o'clock, I need to get into the workshop. Hmm, I take it I didn't read this in um, chronological order. Have I? I haven't got the key. Um, I'll just go up the stairs. Oh. Ooh. All right. I take it this is going to be locked as well. Yeah. Huh? Oh, mustache. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah, itchy news. Right. <clears throat> Fucking click, gosh. Alright, a load of crap as usual. I've not just been through it. Guess not. I don't really like to look at this place, to be honest. Mm. Oh. oh my! Oh, it's just a draw. Soil. Oh, hello. Where's the fuck? Oh. Come here, chair. Oh, you. Eh. St stop it. St no. There we go. The following recipe for laudium, a working invention based in a united kingdom. Description of medicine. Laudanum is a herb, organic based substance that is entered through the body via injection with a needle or ingesting the fluid by swallowing it. The medicine is designed for healing major or minor wounds. Ingredients. Two quarts of human blood. Krupana vine, one pint acid of the damned. Hmm. Don't think you're gonna find that in the local chemist, but. You know. Ooh. A 
That's the way you need to go. Uh, have I got a key? No, should I get do I see? Oh, okay. But I don't, I don't have a clue what to do. No, there's nothing to do down there. Like, literally. Alright, so where do I go? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 